kayo ho kapag pumasa Kapatahan pagdasa ng bayan Handa na makipagsabayan May puso sa court sa bawat laro Hindi haatras sa babakan Gamit ang puso sa laban Walang sino mang uurungan Handa nyo pa rin ang mga bitlin Ang mga pangarap ay awan Isisigaw ko sa mundo Ako ay kabata Lahat kasali kahit na sino NBL itong laro ko ngayon Kabataan na bida dito Lakas ng loob ay nakatatak Di matatakot sa mga yabag Bitbit ang sarili matatag Kaya sumabay sa lahat di matitibag Suwak na suwak Pag tumira ng bola Mabilis kumalaw di na kailangan Ang mga parti-partida Puso ang puhunan Hindi mapipigilan Handang sabayan kahit sino pa yan Di mag-aalam nga tuturukin ko yan Laro nga may pinag-usayan Hindi pa payag mapigilan Kahit pa dami nakaharap Ang pag-asarili sa laban Gamit ang pusong may tapang Walang sino mang uurungan Handang li pa rin ang mga bitrin Ang mga pangarap ay aabutin Sisigaw ko sa mundo Ako ay kabata ang Pilipino Handang pakita sa mundo Sasabay ako at hindi susuko Isisigaw ko sa mundo Ako ay kabata ang Pilipino Handang pakita sa mundo Sasabay ako at hindi susuko NBL Youth, NBL Youth, NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng mga kapat NBL Youth, NBL Youth Sisigaw ko sa mundo Ako ay kabata ang Pilipino Handang pakita sa mundo Sasabay ako at hindi susunod NBL Youth, NBL Youth, NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng mga kapat NBL Youth, NBL Youth, NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng kabataan na handa sumabay sa ano mang laban Pangarap na gusto ng abutin Sa itaas ay mahawakan ang bitwin Kahit madaming may bangin na matalim Sa daan lalakaran ay handa na bong buwin Lakas sa loob ipapakita Sa mundo sige halika Mga dalawan at bilis na Malakobi kere pre panis ka Dahil na hindi ito basta basta Tipika ng laro na may pamusta Lakas na loob umarakada Malayaw ho kapag pumasa Kapatahan pagdasa ng bayan Handa na makipagsabayan May puso sa court sa bawat laro Hindi haatras sa babakan Gamit ang puso sa laban Walang sino mang uurungan Handa nyo pa rin ang mga bitwin Ang mga pangarap ay awan Isisigaw ko sa mundo Ako ay kabata ang Pilipino Handang pakita sa mundo Sasabay ako at hindi susunod NBL Youth, NBL Youth, NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng mga kapat NBL Youth, NBL Youth, NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng kapatahan na handa sumabay sa ano mang laban Ito ang liga ng Pilipino, lahat kasali kahit na sino NBL itong laro ko ngayon, kapataan na bida dito Lakas ng loob ay nakatatak, di matatakot sa mga yabag Bitbit ang sarili, matatag, kaya sumabay sa lahat di matitibag Suwak na suwak Pag tumira ng bola Mabilis kumalaw Di na kailangan Ang mga parti-partida Puso ang puhunan Hindi mapipigilan Handang sabayan Kahit sino pa yan Di mag-aalaman Tuturo
subukin ko yan. Laro nga may pinag-usayan, hindi pa payag mapigilan. Kahit pa daming nakaharap, ang pag sarili sa laban. Gamit ang pusong may tapang, walang sino mang uurungan. Handang pa rin ang mga bitrin, ang mga pangarap ay aabutin. Sisigaw ko sa mundo, ako ay kabataang Pilipino. Handang pakita sa mundo, sasabay ako. Isisigaw ko sa mundo Ako ay kabataang Pilipino Handang pakita sa mundo Sasabay ako at hindi susunod NBL Youth, NBL Youth, NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng mga kabataan NBL Youth, NBL Youth, NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng kabataan na handa sumabay sa anong mga laban Sisigaw ko sa mundo Ako ay kabataang Pilipino Handang pakita sa mundo Sasabay ako at hindi susunod NBL Youth, NBL Youth, NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng mga kabataan NBL Youth, NBL Youth, NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng kabataan na handa sumabay sa anong mga laban ay pangarap na gusto ng abutin Sa itaas ay mahawakan ang bitwin Kahit madaming may bangin na matalim Sa daan lalakaran ay handa na bong buin Laka sa loob papakita sa mundo Sige halika, mga dalawan at bilis na Malakobi kere prepadis ka Dahil na hindi ito pa Hey, very good afternoon and welcome to JILCF Gym Bulo, Bukawe, Bulacan, NBLU, the third conference, semi-finals and knockouts matches. This time we got a 21 under between NKT, Raging Boys, and uh, La Union, Power Hoopers, live on Aliwa Channel 23. Completo na ang channel mo. Here are the starting five for both teams. Beginning with the NKT Raging Boys. Guard number four, Jarmaine Leshones. Also at guard number five, Edward Labayan. Starting at guard number 22, Zai Mina. At forward number 28, Medwin Antonio. Playing center number 29, J.P. Gonzalez. NKT Raging Boys is led by Patrick Bakay. Now starting for La Union, Power Hoopers. At guard number one, Jesse Pineda. Starting at forward number two, Charles Galvez. At guard number four, Dave Rimorin. Starting at guard number 14, Rovin Fontanilla. Playing center number 21, Jaime Rimorin. Lonyo Power Hoopers uh, head coach is Louis Aquino. At this time, we call it at the center court, NBL Commissioner and VP for Basketball Operations. John Edward Aquino and NBL Pilipinas Executive Vice President Ms. Rose Montreal. Before the tip-off of the 21 under 30, second game of the semifinals, 
I would like to call a very special person who's celebrating her birthday today. She's no other than our multimedia officer, Miss Ardi Arshaga. Ardi. Happy birthday, Artie, from your NBL and NBL youth family. Thank you. Once again, happy birthday, Artie, from all of us here. Knockout Semis and KT Raging Boys versus the Union Power. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the second semifinal match for the 21 under NBL youth. And it's between the number one seed, the Union Power Hoopers and NKT Raging Boys, which is the fourth seed for this 21 under matchup. And of course, the five on the floor would be Pineda, Galvez, Remorin, Pontanilla, and EJ Remorin. And early on, Jesse Boy Pineda hitting the three point shot. And of course, for NKT Raging Boys, we have Lasiones, Labayen, Mina, and another three. Oh. Sai Mina hitting that three-point shot, tying the score at 22, or three apiece. That was Sai Mina wearing jersey number 22, hitting that three-point shot. So, as I was saying, the five on the floor would be Le Lesiones, Labayet, Mina, Antonio, and Gonzalez. So, in their previous matchup in the elimination round, La Union Power Hoopers outscored the NKT Raging Boys 96-70 in that game. It was, it was the top or it was the first quarter which gave La Union the momentum as they outscored in that game. In that quarter, NKT Raging Boys by 10 points. So one out of four, one out of two rather, for Fontanilla. As we see a miss there, rebound by Montanilla. Gets it to Jesse Boy. Jesse Boy passes it to Galvez. Montanilla has it. Galvez. Oh, he found himself free for there. As Montanilla scores. Score is. 6-3. Three. three point shot. Missed by Pina. Fontanilla has it. So the first final slot was napped by the VS Mekawai and as they were able to defeat Batang Norte, that was an upset because uh, Batang Norte was favored in that game, but uh, VS Mekawai suddenly got hot in the third period so that they were able to defeat Batang Norte, that's the third seed in Make Hawaii defeating Batang Norte by double digits. So right now we're just waiting for the other final slot to be contested. Currently being contested by La Union Power Hoopers and the NKT Raging Boys.
7.26 remaining. And a turnover. Mina with the steal. Here comes Labayet. Labayet. He's been the steady point guard for the team in the tournament. Meanwhile, almost still Antonio. He drives. Misses that one. In their previous matchup, the top scorers for both teams, we have Robin Fontanilla with 26 points, 8 rebounds, and 2 assists, while Labayan top scored for the NK team with 23 points and 5 rebounds. So let's see if they will be able to duplicate that set effort. Remorin, he gets it to Remorin for the 3. Oh! Number four, Dave Remorin with that three-point shot. And it's now 9-3. Six minutes or six minutes 37 seconds remaining. Mina has that. He hit the three-point shot earlier. Mina. Lost the handle, and ball will go to the Lonia Power Hoopers. Coach Louis Aquino has formed this team and created a balanced, well-balanced team wherein everyone has the chance or knows their role or their role. That's why they finish unbeaten in the elimination round and Nabe the first box seat in the NPLU 21 under and a block there by Pineda. That is a marquee matchup. Labayan and Pineda, top two point guards for both squads. As we see, Fontanilla, oh, he was able to put up that shot despite the defense. And the score is 11 to 3. 5.53 remaining. Lesiones. Oh, tough defense. Great defense by Dave Remorin. As he was able to Great defense by Dave Remorin as he was able to bother the shot of Lesiones. So the score is 11-3, 11-3 with 5.35 remaining. Eight seconds to shoot. Here comes Mina, Zai, Mina. He passed the ball to Lesiones. Oh, Mina for the three. No good, sky high for the board is Jesse Boy. Here comes Pineda. We are live in Aleu Channel 23, completo now. Channel Mo, Kiko Malik, they bring the action. Live as it happens. Pineda, 12 seconds to shoot. Pineda, jumper, no. Rebound, NKT. And here comes Balbarin. Balbarin all the way for his basket. For Balbarin, fifth point for NKT. 5.06 remaining. Dave for the three. Oh! Swabbing three point shot for Dave. Remorin with the three point shot. That's the third three point shot by La Union Power Hoopers in this game. And we are just in the first quarter. Look at that. Balbarin, he drives. Layup. It is good for Balbarin. 4.40 remaining. Fontanilla. Oh, he sees Dave. Another three. No good. Rebound scramble. Balbarin has it. And a foul will be called on Pineda. 14 7 is the score, a seven point lead. For another three, 
Still no good. Fontanilla has grabbed the board. You know, like what I've been saying from the previous broadcast, Fontanilla is the, I believe, the dream and green of this uh, power hoopers. Of course, except for that attitude, for the wild attitude of Draymond Green. Fontanilla has been the do-it-all forward guard for Coach Louis Aquino. He, will, he can bring down the ball, set up plays, grab the rebound, play defense. I believe that he, will, he is a barometer of uh, the performance of La Union Power Hoopers in the tournament so far. Meanwhile, Lesiones, he gets it to Mina. 3.27 remaining. Labayan has yet to score. He's being guarded by Fontanilla. Oh, he escapes the defense of Fontanilla. Galvez is on him. Mina, top shot for the three. No. Sky high for the board was Pineda. And now Fontanilla bringing down the leather. Jesse Boy with the ball. He travels. Took extra step from La Union to Bulacan. Traveling call on Pineda. 16 7, 304 remaining. Three minutes remaining. Oh, what a pass. Great basket there by Bayet. It's now 69. And another traveling is called. Two thirty-five remaining, seven-point lead. Labayan, top shot there. They're making it hard for Labayan to take the shot. Meanwhile, Fontanilla has it. Fontanilla sidestep, no. Oh, EJ missing on that one. Dave grabs it, back to EJ. Rebounded, basket, it's good. Meanwhile, Balvarin got everyone. was hit by when he went up for the layup so there was there's blood on the face of Remorin so I in the eyebrow he was hit in the eyebrow so I hope he will be okay as he is one of the key players actually the key slot man or center for Coach Rubio. two minutes remaining 18 11 is the score Abbas. Three point shot for La Bayan. It's 18 14. Galvez. Oh, and what opportunity. Great shot there for number 16, Asun Shot. Twenty fourteen, one minute thirty seven seconds remaining. And Asun Shot makes that free throw. One thirty remaining, and a steal by Asun Shot. Asun Shot all the way. Four straight points for Asun Shot. Giving his team a 23-14 lead and a three. Boy, shot. And Paul Farin hits a three-point shot. 
It's down to six, 23-17. Quantanilla, a jumper, no. And Galvez could not believe it, but he will be called for a foul. Less than a minute remaining. Oh, a three-point shot. It's raining breeze here. The Pario. It's 23-20. And now rebound. Look at NKT playing inspired basketball. Balba, or that was Labaya missing. Maybe he can get there. They can get a cue from how VS make Hawaiian beat the favored Batang Norte earlier. Maybe we can see an underdog finals. However, of course, La Union Power Hoopers is hoping that would not happen as they are currently the top seed for this tournament as we see Datario with the ball. He gets it. Pass to number 14, that's Aredas. And look at Aredas. Diving for the ball. 10 seconds remaining. Balbarin. And Gregorio is foul. Or was called for that foul. Valverde making the first free throw. Four seconds remaining. At the end of the first quarter, the score is 23-21. A two-point lead for La Union. Power Hoopers will be back for the second quarter. Twenty-three, twenty-one, a two-point lead in favor of La Union Power Hoopers and NKT Raging Boy showing that they can hang on with the Power Hoopers. They're showing that they are a force to reckon with. Maybe they are playing inspired basketball after watching this make Wyatt win the first semifinal matchup for the 21 under. Mina missing the first free throw. Nine thirty-five remaining. Zero out of two, and Mina grabs the board. Oh, look at the hustle of NKT, but they just couldn't make the basket. 
23-21. And an offensive foul. And there is a technical foul on the coach decorum, decorum rather, for the La Union Power Hoopers as they are pleading their case earlier with that uh, offensive foul called on Asunshot. Coach Lou Aquino should, should calm down as this is just the second period. His team needs him, so there's still a lot of quarters to play. 23-21, 9-10 remaining. Reyes travels. And look at that, full court press being employed by NKT. Gregorio has it, Gregorio. Oh, Cadano lost that one. Now here comes Reyes. He sees Mina. Mina drives. Oh, three point shot, no good. Norton having problems with the leather. Gregorio has it. And a technical foul is called on the NKT Raging Voice for the coaches decorum. Eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining, 23-21. Catano, he gets it to, oh, Asuncion has it. Asuncion, fourth shot, no good. Rebound by Sean Reyes. Reyes, calling play number one. He's being harassed by Asuncion. Reyes, he gets it. Back to him, Reyes, shot, it's good, two-pointer. And Reyes ties the game at 23. And a turnover. Mina. And foul is called on Norton. And Mina, Zai Mina missing that one. Yes. I just felt that MKT came to this game with a little bit more or a little bit more hustle in their part. So it's up to the power hoopers to actually show their hustle part and turn over. Look at that. Oh, 
Oh, Valverde, first lead. And La Union Power who pursues for time. They are down 25 23. We'll be back. Something to look forward to, NBL fans all around the globe. It's NBL kids, NBL teens, and NBL next gen coming soon. Ang liga ng kapatang Pilipino, and of course, the seventh season of the National Basketball League Pilipinas is coming soon. NBL building their own. Ang tahanan ng tunay na homegrown, and look at the hustle of the NKT Raging Boys. They have more teeth. And Hustle Department. And Anthony Domingo will go to the line for two freebies. And a miss, 25-23, too many missed free throws. Remore, he gets it to Pineda. Pineda. Everything is silent between Pineda and Fontanilla. 11 seconds to shoot. Fontanilla, oh, Dave for the three, short on that one, Domingo with a board. Here comes Reyes, Sean Reyes on the run. Oh, he sees Domingo, Domingo misses that one. Norton, there's Fontanilla. Fontanilla with the basket. First two points for La Union in this quarter. And a second deadlock in this game. Oh, a long three for Reyes, no good. Rebound by Fontanilla. Fontanilla on the run. Fontanilla drives, and there's a foul call. I don't know, but I see La Union player Irvin Silveri just arrived here. The La Union power, that's the men's squad. Ir Irvin Silveri watching the game right now. Of course, supporting their junior team, the La Union power hooper, as we see Fontanilla making the first free throw. First of two free throws. So let's see. Two for two. Six thirteen remaining. Balvarin, he drives. Oh, a turnover. Here comes Pineda. Pineda. Stop, pops, three, no! Fontanilla with a board. Fontanilla for the three. No, rebound, scramble. Ball will go to the NKT Raging Boys. Look at that. A three-point shot, missed by NKT. Rebound scramble, won by EJ Rimorin. Here comes Pineda. Dave gets it. 
Oh, look at a deep. Great deep by Reyes. Sean Reyes, very, very good in playing defense in that time, at that time, rather. And ties the game. A lot of uh, bodies flying. What a fast pace action, 4.51 remaining. Malvary for the three point shot. Four thirty eight remaining. And there we go. So the board must proceed to the sheet area in front of your respective benches. Both teams are advised to observe the proper bench. And there will and be a replay because of possible because of a possible flagrant foul. So they will check on the replay right now. Score is 30-27, a three-point lead by NKT Raging Boys. The officials led by the technical director of NBL Youth, Mr. Edward Aquino, is reviewing the play. We're now checking if it warrants a flagrant foul. So let's see, let's wait for it. Flagrant foul. It's a flagrant foul penalty one, uh, number one, JL Balbarin. And Balbarin was whistled for the flagrant foul. So he, so he must be very careful because Balbarin has been playing great so far and he's actually needed by the team. So he has to be very careful not to commit a flagrant foul or a technical foul. One out of two. 30, 28, 431 remaining. Fourteen seconds on the shot clock. Pineda short on that one. Rebound. Botanilla has it right now. Oh, almost a steal. Gregorio on three. Two. In and out. Galvez. Galvez will go to the line for two freebies. Four fourteen remaining. Thirty twenty nine, a one point lead. Aredas. Oh, what a move there! Oh, great presence of mind to see Domingo free there. Has 
been scoring at will. He has scored all the all, all of the points of La Union Power Hoopers in this quarter. Lesiones, no good. Seven second period of action. Montanilla. This is Gregorio. Free for the three. No good. Bad night for La Union Power Hooper so far when it comes to three point shooting. Pineda, boom! And Pineda scores. And he's the second player aside from Pontanilla to score in this quarter. remaining 34 32 2 minutes 50 seconds remaining Lesiones oh what a move by Lesiones but a great block there by Pineda Gregorio thinking three no and look at that. But a miss there by Aredas. And a steal. That was a foul. Fortunately, referee Francisco was able to see that. He was pushed from behind. Pushing final on number four, Jermaine Lesiones penalty. That's the first final of Jermaine Lesiones. And the line shooting two, Angelo Gregorio. 35-32. Look at inside. Bahem scores. One forty-nine. Oh, turnover. Thirty-five, thirty-four, one. Tight game here, ladies and gentlemen. Aredas loses it. Look at Fontanilla run. Fontanilla. Uh oh. Boom. You know, whenever Pineda launches a three point shot, you will just wait for that booming sound. What a great pass there by Fontanilla as it gave them a four point lead right now. So Jesse Boy Pineda.
missing the four point play opportunity, that three point shot. Bahet. Oh, Palvarin! <laughs> it's not yet done! Palvarin making his presence felt. A three point shot there by number 16, Asuncion missing the mark. Labayan. There was a foul called. So free throws will be given to Labayan. Bayern missing that one. <laughs> Miss! Oh! You're not seeing Labayan, or you're not used to seeing Labayan missing two free throws. Almost another steal. Pineda, boom! So let's see, how will NKT react to this? Thirteen seconds remaining. Balbarin. Oh, Labayan, his turn. No good. Rebound. Four seconds remaining. Asunshon. Remoren, oh, time runs out. And at the end of two quarters, the score is 41-37. A tight game between La Union Power Hoopers and NKT Raging Boys. And the Power Hoopers are on top by four. We'll be back for the second half.
Lahat kasali kahit na sino NBA itong laro ko ngayon Kabataan na bida dito Lakas ng loob ay nakatatak Di matatakot sa mga yabag Bitbit ang sarili matatag Kaya sumabay sa lahat di matitibag Suwak na suwak Pag tumira ng bola Mabilis gumalaw di na kailangan Ang mga party partida Puso ang puhunan Hindi mapipigilan Andang sabayan kahit sino pa yan Di mag-aalaman tuturukin ko yan Pinag-usayan, hindi pa payag mapigilan Kahit pagdaming nakaharap Ang pagkasarili sa laban Gamit ang pusong may tapang Walang sino mang uurungan Handang lipa rin ang mga bitwin Ang mga pangarap ay aabutin Sisigaw ko sa mundo Ako ay kabata Ang Pilipino Handang pakita sa mundo Sasabay ako At hindi susuko ko Sisigaw ko sa mundo Ako ay kabata Ang Pilipino Handang pakita sa mundo Sasabay ako At hindi susuko NBL Youth NBL Youth NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng mga kabata NBL Youth NBL Youth NBL Youth Ito ang liga ng kabataan Na handa sumabay sa anong mga laban And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The score after three periods, it's 41-37. A four-point lead by La Union Power Hoopers, the top seed in the 21-under division. Surprisingly, the NKT are sticking close to them, and they're doing it because of their hustle. So... The, the question is, how will La Union match the hustle of NKT Raging Boys? Because that has been the weapon of NKT. That's why they are sticking close to the La Union Power Hoopers. Balvarin. Launches a three. No good this time. Ball in play number one. Montanilla. Pineda. Gets it to Rimori. Malakai has it. Three seconds to shoot. Fontanilla, three-point shot. Rebound by Palakai. Asuncion is in the corner. He's setting up. Pineda, no good. Palakai with the board. Palakai has it. Pass to Pineda. Pineda for the three. 
No good. Rebound by a short. Now EJ has it. He loses it. And KT on the run. Mina gets it to Antonio. Gonzalez now. And now Balvarin has the hot hands. Antonio will test the defense of EJ. Oh, top shot there. Rebound by Fontanilla. Fontanilla. This is Pineda. Or that was a soon shot, rather. And Gonzalez with the board. Labayan is being watched over by Pineda. Marquee matchup here. Labayan and Pineda. Great pick by Gonzalez. Gonzalez has it. Gonzalez drives. Almost lost that one. And Balvarin was there for the cleanup. Forty-one thirty-nine. Fontanilla thinking three. Oh, there's a foul called on Balvarin. Seven fifty-three remaining. Oh, Pineda found himself free. Boom. Forty-four, thirty-nine, seven, thirty-eight remaining. Balvarin answers back. No miss. Rebound by Fontanilla. Asuncion is on the front court. He sees Pineda for another three. Boom! Boom! Back to back three for Jesse Boy Pineda. And timeout is called by the NKT Raging Boys. We'll be back here in NBL. Back to the game, back to back threes from Jesse Boy Pineda gives his team an eight point lead. 39 47. Labaye, how will NKT answer back? Let's see. Then Labaye turns it over. Fist play. By the power hoopers. Pineda. He drives. He sees Fontanilla in the corner. No. Rebound by EJ. And a foul is called. And Payet and Domingo entering, replacing Gonzalez and Antonio. 47 39 seconds remaining. Momentum is on the side of Power Hoopers. So let's see. Asuncion has it. He gets it to Palakai. Back to Asuncion. An offensive foul is called on Palakai. Lavalle, oh, oh no, miscommunication between Lavalle and Mina results in a turnover.
Pineda gets it to Fontanilla. Fontanilla missing on that one. It's a technical foul on assistant coach Francisco for coaches Decorum. Oh, that is not good. But Balvarin could not make that one. with a steal, yo! What a shot there! Great defensive effort by Pineda. He has scored the eight points, all of the points actually, of the Union Power Hoopers in this quarter. And look at that, oh, Arenas, short on that one! will check if Paredes will be given a flagrant foul. So let's see. Foul on number 14, Nico Arenas is third, 13th foul. So that was decided that it was an ordinary foul, no intention to hurt on the part of Paredas. Five minutes, 36 seconds remaining, 10 point lead right now. Fontanilla. Oh, Galvez, what a fake there for Galvez. And a great assist for Fontanilla. For the three, missing on that one. Rebound by Pineda. And now here comes Fontanilla. Fontanilla. Uh oh. As a shot, but no good. Aretas with the board. Here comes Balvarin. Balvarin with the ball. He gets it to Aretas. Aretas gets it to Pahit. Finally. They will check if there is a possible flagrant foul. So let's see if it's Bayet or Domingo. Let's see.
There is a technical foul called on Domingo for unnecessary contact during dead ball situation because the basket was scored already, yet he made some unnecessary action on Rimorin. And Pineda scores that technical free throw. Four forty four remaining. Fontanilla. Remorin has it. Fontanilla. Gets it to Gregorio. Gregorio. Oh, his pass bounced off. It went past through the hands of Galvez. 4.20 remaining. Balfarin. He has the hot hand, so let's see. Oh, by him for the three. By the score, the last five points of NKT. There are two men down. Let's see. Bahit scores! And Bahit is on a man on a mission. And now it's down to six point lead. 348 remaining. We'll be back. Back to the game, ladies and gentlemen, Asunshon, Lucas Asunshon, one of the key bench players of Coach Luvi Aquino, gives quality minutes to his team. So right now they will be tested as Jesse Boy Pineda is resting on the bench. Remorin, back to Quantanilla, Quantanilla. One second to go. Or they have to take that shot immediately. And the shot clock violation is called on the power hoopers. Bahet. That's been the key source of strength. Bayet is asking for it. They have to give the ball to Bayet for a heat check. Travel. They should have given the ball to Bayet as he has been on fire. He has scored the last seven points of NKT. And look at that, a steal there by Balvarin. Oh! Number 
Warning is given to Gregorio for resentment to a call. That two free throws for Balvarin. Fifty-two forty-eight, two fifty-seven remaining. Galvez gets it to Fontanilla. Asuncion has it. Back to Fontanilla. Gregorio can hit that three, but he has not yet tried. Let's see. Gregorio three. Short on that one. Rebound, Domingo. And now here comes Malvarin. Malvarin gets it to buy it. He has the hot hand. Two twenty-eight remaining, and we are just in the third quarter. Close game. Malvarin with the ball. Malvarin layup, no. Look at Pahit. Uh oh, for the three. No good. Rebound by Gregorio. Here comes the power hoopers. Galvez with the leather. Gets it to Gregorio. Back to Galvez. Galvez. Fontanilla. Three point shot. No good. The offense seems to be confused right now. Disorganized for La Union. Domingo. Domingo cuts the lead to just two to a single basket. 137 remaining. Fontanilla. He drives. Turns it over. Oh, for the tie. Yes, sir. What a great comeback, down by 13 points. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a 11 to nothing run by the NKD Raging Boys to tie the score at 52. We'll be back here in NBLU. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is just our fourth deadlock. Oh, what a great, great hustle by Sean Reyes. Sean Reyes being pesky has produced. Good things for the NKT Raging Boys. His peskiness has resulted to turnover for the Power Hoopers. And now a chance to take or retake the lead on this possession. Balvarin. Three point shot! Boom! By it with a three point shot. Asuncion gets it to Norton. 11 seconds to shoot. Pineda has it. Pineda, three point shot. No good. And here comes Pahit. Pahit on the run. Oh, a steal by Asuncion. Norton has it. 30 seconds remaining. Fist play. Cadano with the ball. Gets it to Pineda. Pineda. Oh, an offensive foul on Catano. Offensive 
Paredes with a ball gets it to Sean Reyes. Reyes may not be scoring that much, but his effort on defense is something that we could emulate because his peskiness has given has given the power hoopers some headaches. And at the end of the three of third quarter, the score is 55-52, a three-point lead for the NKD Raging Boys. We'll be back for the fourth and final period. Ladies and gentlemen, to maintain the integrity and credibility of the games in the NBL and NBLU, the league has implemented a policy to have all teams, including the officials, surrender their mobile gadgets 30 minutes before each game. If you notice, there are three repository of the gadgets, one for each team, and the third one is for the NBL game officials. And back to the game, 55-52. Three-point lead for the NKT Raging Boys. Quarter scores, end of first quarter. La Union Power Hoopers 23-21. In the second quarter, La Union added on to their lead as they outscored the NKT 18-16. But in the third quarter, using the 11 or make that 14-0 run to end the third quarter, NKT Raging Boys took the lead at 55-52. So in the third quarter, NKT scored 18 points and only 11 for La Union. So we have four deadlocks so far in this game. So let's see. Galvez. Oh, free lane there for Galvez. Fifty-five, fifty-four. Labayan has yet to find his stride in this game. Mina, who hit the first three-pointer in the game, missed on that one. Leshones, free for the three, short. Rebound by Galvez. Norton brings down the ball. Pineda, oh, loses that one. Oh, one turnover after another. Norton gets it to Pineda. Pineda. No. Miss on that one. Eight thirty-one remaining. The fourth seeded NKT Raging Boys looking to upset the top seeded and undefeated Power Hoopers. Oh, Mina lost that one. Pineda, double team. Eight oh seven remaining. Labayan has it. Labayan for the three. No good. The long arms of Domingo. 
is controlling where the ball is going. Fifty-five, fifty-four, seven forty-six remaining. Fourteen seconds on a shot clock. Here comes Lechonis. Lechonis. He drives. Takes a shot. No good. Oh, I told you, Domingo's long arms has been a problem. Oh, look at that. Fontanilla, and one for Fontanilla. And they retakes the lead. La Union retakes the lead. Fontanilla for the bonus free throw. Completes that one. It's now 57. 55. Two point lead for the Power Hoopers. Balbarin. So far having a great game. Labayan. Has it. Labayan. Jumper. No good. Seven oh five remaining. Fontanilla almost turns it over. Asunción three point shot, no good. Here comes the buy in. Oh, what a pass! However, no space for Domingo to move. That's why it's a turnover. Oh. Great defense by the NKT Raging Boys. Fifty-seven, fifty-five. Oh, look at that. Oh, great defense by La Union. Galvez, basket is good. Ten seconds to shoot, 5.57 remaining. Six seconds, Sean, buy it. Nowhere to go. KD gets another chance or crack at the basket. Uh oh, Valverin. Boom! Three point shot for Valverin. Cuts the deficit to one. Gregorio gets it to Fontanilla. 
5.15 remaining. Balvarin. Oh! Arenas! Yes, sir! And the lead is with NKT. Fontanilla missing it. Pineda has not yet been returned. Oh, has not yet returned. And speaking of Pineda, he's now being dispatched by coach Louis Aquino. Miss there. But there was a late violation. 4.49 remaining. Oh, he misses that one. Pineda, three, there's a foul called. Four thirty remaining. And Jesse Boy Pineda. With two free throws. Makes the first free throw for Pineda. So far, we ha only have four deadlocks. We only had four deadlocks as of, you know, four minutes and 30 seconds. But it has been a close game all throughout. 62-61. Balvarin. 27 points for Balvarin. Missing on that one. Rebound by Fontanilla. Jesse Boy. Santos gets it to Pineda. Remorin. Oh, inside. Not a good play there. Oh, turnover by Balvarin. 62-61. Oh, a turnover. Balvarin for the 29th point. Yes, sir. Pineda for the three, ties the game. Fifth deadlock. This is the fifth deadlock in the game. Sean, traveling. Three oh six remaining. Asun Sean thinking three, no. Fontanilla. Double double for Fontanilla. Uh oh. Boom! For the three. Remember the third quarter. It was a back to back three by 
by Jesse Boy Pineda that started the run for La Union. And now La Union takes the lead, 67-64. We'll be back here in NBLU. Back to the ball game, 247 remaining. Exciting game between the number one seed and the number four seed. NKT Raging Boys giving all they got to frustrate the power hoopers. Will it be, will it be a battle of the lower seeds in the finals? Or it will be the battle between La Union or make FBS make Hawaiian. So let's see. NKT, it's no push over here. La Union must answer back. Pineda has it. And there's a foul called on Antonio. And now, Coach Patrick Bakay has dispatched Bahit. Remember, it was Bahit who pushed. MKT Raging Boys back in the game in the third quarter. He scored 10 straight points. So let's see. There's still 2 minutes and 12 seconds remaining. Exciting game on hand in the 21 under division. Remorin has it. Pineda. Offensive foul is called on Santos. Twenties, two oh six remaining. Two oh six remaining. Here comes Labayan. Bahit. So there's a foul. That's 15 foul. One minute, 56 seconds remaining. Welcome to the suspense theater. Suspense theater here in NBL Youth. Bahit for the three. Hits it. Boom. The sixth deadlock. Bahit, I told you so. Oh. 11 seconds to go. Seven seconds. Fontanilla has been silent. No, miss! Shot clock violation! Remember when Bayet was dispatched by Coach Bakay? I told you so. Bakay has been the magic puno so far. Helping Balvarin. Helping Balvarin. In their cost tonight. 67 all, 123 remaining. Balvarez. And one. Balvarez scores. Are we smelling an upset? Number 
One ten remaining. Sixty nine, sixty seven, Balvarin. Thirty one big points for this young man. A torn in the side of La Union Power Hoopers. And we are smelling an upset if this pushes through. 69-67. Malvarin missing that one. Rebound. Or are we smelling an overtime? Let's see. Pineda has it. Oh, almost. Nine seconds to shoot. Pineda, three point shot. Oh! So they will challenge the call. Coach Patrick Bakay will challenge the call. Let's wait for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen. So let's see if ever Labayan took the space of Pineda in that three-point shot. So let's wait for the official announcement as there was a challenge. 49.59 seconds remaining. Challenge made by NPD Raging Boys was unsuccessful. Foul on number five, Edward Labayan, is third. First Ed team Labayan, foul under the last upon the review, it was an un unsuccessful challenge. So Pineda will shoot three free throws. 49.59 seconds. Pressure pack. Pineda. Oh, missed that shot. Second one. Second free throw is good. 68. 69. One more free throw. Two, four, three. For Jesse Boy Pineda. Seventh deadlock in this game. 69 all. Welcome to the suspense theater. Labayan. Aredas. Oh, spin move. Aredas scores. Aredas to the basket. Aredas has been missing a lot of shots in this game, but he made when it mattered the most. 71 69, we'll be back. Timeout is called by the Lonion Power Hoopers.
Back to the game, ladies and gentlemen. Kiko Maligdan bringing you the action live as it happens here in NBL Youth. Upsets have reigned supreme in the 21 under. In the first matchup, the number three seed have defeated the number two seed. So will that trend continue in this game? Will the number four seed defeat the number one seed? Let's find out. 27.86 seconds remaining. We are live at the JILCF Gymnasium in Bukawe, Bulacan. Kiko Maligdan bringing you the action live as it happens. La Union Power will have possession. Both teams are in the penalty. No more timeouts. Each team. Pineda. 15 seconds. Two seconds separates the game clock and the shot clock. Turnover by EJ. He couldn't handle the pass. Labayan. And there was a foul called. So two free throws. So they will be checking if that game clock is correct. As on our game clock, it's 9.07. And upon review, Ten point fifty nine seconds remaining. So Edward Labayet will now shoot two free throws. Makes the first one. No timeouts. Remember, no more timeouts, and both teams are in the penalty. Oh, he missed. La Union will have one more crack. Let's see. by Pineda Pineda took the shot too early maybe he should have set his shot first before taking that but who knows that was the player's decision he knows the perfect timing to take that shot. 73-69, Bahit, Balvarin and Bahit conspiring in this game. Miss. And it's upset city here in NBL Youth. The lower seeds, the third and fourth seeds have defeated the top seeds. And they will meet in the finals. Final score, 73-69. NKT, Raging Bo Boys, defeats the top seed and previously undefeated La Union Power Hoopers. Great game, ladies and gentlemen. And 
Balparin is a judge as the best player of the game. Balvarin, what an amazing game for Balvarin. Wow, he gave it all in this game. So it would be an exciting matchup in the finals between the NKT Raging Boys and the VS May Kawayan. Look at that, 31 points, three assists, two rebounds, JL Balvarin, congratulations. To coach Patrick Bakay, JL Balbarin, and the rest of the NKT Raging Boys. And up next, ladies and gentlemen, is the 16 under division matchup between the Yexkival JBC Zone 14 and the Alab Knights.